Hey guys, Scott, and this is what I'm going to talk about Handicap 2023 Kentucky Derby using my own par method handicapping. And this is probably the last video that I make for a little while. I'm going to be moving this weekend, so video is a little hard to come by for the next few days for me, but I'm going to try to get out a couple more for the Kentucky Derby, and I plan on doing a live stream next Wednesday night. But anyways, uh, what I do for my own par method handicapping is I, I look at the track record, uh, you know, 139.18 for a mile and 16th. I take that record, I divide it by 100, and... I'll do it by seconds. So if it's 1.39, that'll be uh, 99 seconds, you know, 99.18 seconds. So when I break it down by 100, I get 0 0.99 as my number. And then I come down here and I take the, the time that the horse ran. And you know, it's 142.01. So translate the seconds would be 102.01. And I've subtracted from, uh, you know, 99.18. And then uh, I come up with a number. And then I take that number and I'll divide that, the difference by 0 0.99. And that'll be my you know, time I set the horse got for the race. And I go up and down the race card and I'll essentially, you know, mark all the numbers I get and then take the average and create a part time. And my goal is to see how fast or how slow this horse ran above the part time. And the first horse I back tested on is uh, Flightline. And I took last year's Pacific Classic, you know, the one where he got really dominant one by like 14, 15 lengths. And I came up with a part of 3.67 for that day. Flight run ran a 0.14. So he beat par by 3.53, which you're about to see is really good. So yeah, that kind of shows me that that these little speed figures I created can work just a little bit. And the first horse we looked at is Tappet Trice and the Bluegrass and the Tampa Bay Derby. And I took the two times from both of those races. And what I got was for the Bluegrass is a par 3.89. Uh, Tappet Trice ran a 2.10. So he beat par by 1.79. And then the Tampa Derby par was 2.72. So trap was a little bit faster that day. Uh, Tampa tries to a 1.60, so he beat par by 1.12. But as you can see from the Tampa Derby to the Bluegrass, he took a step forward. So I won't be surprised to see if he maybe took another step forward, you know, going to the Kentucky Derby. Uh, the next horse I looked at is Forte. And Forte, you know, ran the Fountain of Youth Florida Derby. And in the Fountain of Youth, he ran a 3.5, or par that day was 3.50. I ran a 2.12, and so he beat par by 1.38 that day. And the Florida Derby, you know, a lot of people says performance that come back too good. So, you know, we had to back it up with the numbers. So part of that day was 2.44. So show the trap was playing a little bit faster in Fountain of Youth Day. Forte ran a 2.39, but he, was also, he only finished 0 0.05 above par. It's almost an even race that day. Uh, but you can chalk that to the bad post. And he already had his points. Maybe it wasn't fully geared up. But seeing how he was kind of all out to get to the stretch, I might say that, you know, he was used a little bit. So... You know, you could say for the Derby, if you run back to the Fountain of Youth effort, he might be, you know, a little tough in this race. If he runs back to the Florida Derby effort, he's going to get swept off his feet. But not an effort, you know, for the Florida Derby. You want to see from somebody who's going to be the post-top favorite. And then you got Angel Empire. And, you know, I took the Arkansas Derby, the Risen Star. Uh, Risen Star par was 4.06 that day. Angel Empire ran a 3.54. Uh, so par, he beat par by 0 0.52. And then the Arkansas Derby par was 4.21. Uh, Angel Empire ran 2.90. So he was 1.31 above par. So you can see he improved from the Risen Star to the Arkansas Derby. So maybe more distance, you know, could possibly improve off of that. Uh, actually, for the Risen Star day, pretty mischievous actually ran a faster par number that day than Angel Empire. So if you had a cap in the Kentucky Oaks, it might be something, you know, you see in this video, you might remember that pretty mischievous actually ran a faster number that day. And then a uh, practical move for the San Felipe and the San Anita Derby. Uh, for the San Felipe, par was 3.87. He ran a 2.85, so he beat par by 1.02. And that's going a mile and 16th. At San Anita Derby, you know, distance went a mile and an eighth. And some of practical moves concern has been distance limitations, and this might can help back that up. Par was 3.35. He ran a 2.75, so he beat par by 0.60. So not, you know, ideally something you want to see, you know, progressing forward. So, you know, keep that in mind. You're handicapping these horses. Uh, I say the winners from this was Tappet Trice and Angel Empire. Uh, Forte left some question marks. And if you're a fan of, you know, practical move, uh, you know, you might want to be aware if you start putting money on them. And you can feel free to take any of the horses for this. You know, there's 20 horses. It takes a long time to, to do this. So, you know, I showed you all how to do it again in the video. You can feel free to do it yourself. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps.